Rashti McGibbon with Noah DeCotney, goaltender, Adrian College. Hey, congratulations. Hey, thanks so much, Rashti. Heck of a game for you guys. Uh, you guys have punched your ticket into the Final Four. Just, just, just take me a little bit through from your perspective. You, you know, they say goalies are different, but give me your perspective on the game. <laughs> well, it was a really hard-fought battle. Uh, we came out hard and had a, had a great first first 20, and then the third, we kind of got away with it with the penalties, but Liberty had a hard-fought game out there. They always do. It's always a good th- good game against them. Always fun to play. C- c- coming in was the game plan. You know, you, you, you guys had split with them. You split with them in Lynchburg. You split with them back at Adrian. Um, it, it, what it, any, any difference in the game plan coming into this game against them versus someone else? Not really. No, our biggest thing is always to stay out of the box. Like, we can beat teams a lot five on five. It's, it's when we get shorthanded is where we run into a lot of problems. So our g- biggest biggest thing there was to stay out of the box. One thing that I found, uh, not being sarcastic, but heartwarming, you know, they're, they're, uh, I, I was standing up with the, the president of the ACHA, Paul Hebert, and, and we looked out, and I think there's 11 guys on the ice tonight that played, because you guys had six, right? Yeah, we you had six, yeah. You had six, and Liberty had five. Uh, six, uh, 11 guys that went to the World Cup of University Hockey yeah. last August. How, how has it changed the complexion of this 23-24 season with running into these guys at Ohio, at Minot, at Liberty? Yeah. Has, has it made it cool? Yeah, it's always been fun. You see them in the hallway before the game, you go, hey, what's up, man, how's it going? And good luck tonight. Just someone you've never met before until last August that you guys are lifelong friends now. You'll see them and you'll always ask them what's up, how they're doing, see how they are. It's always cool. It, it, it was neat. I was standing down at this end of the rink and I was watching Hunter Verostic as he went through. And every time he came to one of you guys in World Cup, okay, Team USA or Team Canada, you, you know, you guys would just kind of embrace and, and uh, you know, say some things. What, 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 was the, what were the words between you guys? Two guys from Western yeah, Canada yeah. that uh, <laughs> both, both suited up for Team Canada at the World Cup. Like, what, what, what were the comments as you we both complimented each other on, on the game tonight. We both both fought hard, and Hunter had a great game as well. Made some huge saves for them. If he wasn't in there, it's a five nothing game, five whatever game. Like he made some huge saves. Just wish him. He wished me best of luck the rest of the way, and then I wished him the best of luck trying to find out where he's going to finish out the year for his pro season. How do you guys physically? Play this many games in this, you know, in this shorter time. I mean, you, you know, the the really you come to the national tournament, and it's like you go into marathon mode, really. Yeah. yeah. How well, do we you do it? We prep all year for it. Like we we lift and we spend every day, or once or twice every week. We're on the ice five times a week. Like we're we're always going prepping for this this four games, five games in four days, whatever it is. Like it's we we come ready for it. We come in shape. Um, you know, when I had talked to uh, Bubba the other day, yeah. one of the things that he said is kind of the structure of your schedule. Is it kind of crescendos near the end so as you get to the end of the season the 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 opponents that you guys are facing are stronger do you do you feel that that uh, adds to to set you up for success here yeah I think so because we we start out the year against the conference teams and some of our conference teams aren't as strong as as others but we always finish the year off with with Liberty or with uh, Nationals in mind when we play Liberty when we go there we'll have other big games like our playoffs as well playing against top 10 teams so we we try to backload our schedule a little bit just to get us in the right mindset towards games coming up here. You know, men's D1 went from 20 to 24 teams this year. Um, any, any surprise from yourself at the uh, at the at the homogeneous caliber of the top, of the top 24 teams in it's, the country? It's been crazy. Any team can win on any night, and just proves that you got to be ready to go every single time that puck drops. Like anyone can win, as you saw with Niagara and Oswego and other teams like that. Like it's not teams aren't just going to roll over and die. They're here for a reason because they want to win this cup. So yeah, it's deep, really deep playoffs. Anybody uh, you want to say hello to back in Western Canada? Uh, hi, mom. Hi, Dad. What's up, family? How's it going? Great. Yeah. Well, hey, I want to say congratulations. Yeah. Thank you so Big much. Big win for you and yeah. your program tonight. Uh, Adrian College, 4-2 with an empty netter uh, over Liberty University, and you punched your ticket to the Final Four, Men's Division One at the 2024 National Championship. Yeah.